Hi, Kevin here. For afternoon tea today, I'm fixing some eggnog scones. And afterwards, we can go into the parlor. I'm going to light a fire in the fireplace there because I want to show you the Christmas tree. So here's the recipe for the scones. All right, so what I have here is two and three quarters cups of all-purpose flour. That's 330 grams of flour in my little food processor. And then I'm going to add a quarter cup of granulated sugar. And three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. And one tablespoon of baking powder. and a half teaspoon of ground nutmeg. I love the scent of nutmeg. And a half teaspoon of ground cinnamon. These scones are going to smell as delicious as they taste. Okay, and then I'm going to give these a quick spin. Okay. Then I have to add some butter and it's in my refrigerator. Hold on. Sorry for walking off camera like that, but I needed to keep the butter cold. So what I have here is 113 grams or 8 tablespoons of cold diced butter. I'm just going to scatter this over the flour. And then I'm going to pulse the machine a few times just to cut the butter into the flour. All right, let me clear the decks and I'll be right back. Yeah, I like to keep things tidy while I work. Okay. So I've transferred the flour and butter mixture into a large mixing bowl. And now, I have to prepare the wet ingredients. So what I have here is three quarters of a cup of eggnog. And I'm just using store-bought eggnog. Tis the season when it's very easy to find eggnog in the market. And now I'm going to add one large egg to the eggnog and one teaspoon of vanilla. This is my own homemade vanilla. About that, my uh, the top part of my tri uh, tripod just fell over. Let's see if I can fix this here. All right, there we go. So just giving this a quick whisk, and then I'm going to pour this into the dry ingredients. and then give it a stir. Just want to combine all of the ingredients. You guys, this smells terrific. It smells very festive. So this is going to be a festive afternoon tea. And 
several of you have asked to see the Christmas tree, so I thought this would be a good opportunity to do so. I do love decorating for the holidays. Okay. Scrape this off. Now, let me fetch my pastry cloth and we're going to roll this out. Yes, I do love my pastry cloth. Great for rolling out dough. And then I'm just going to lightly flour it. And when you're using a pastry cloth, you want to really rub the flour into the cloth. And here's the dough. Going to scatter a little flour on top. Knead it for just a moment. And then form it into a circle or into a disc. flour, some flour to my rolling pin, then I'm going to roll this into a circle that is approximately three quarters of an inch thick. Now, I don't know if you can see, but so you can actually see all the bits of butter in here and those bits of butter are going to make these scones very flaky deliciously flaky okay let me start cutting these out and what I'm using is a two inch biscuit cutter or scone cutter in this instance. Here it is. And then I'm going to transfer the scones to this parchment lined baking sheet. Okay, and I will finish pressing these out and then I'll come back. Well, I managed to get 20 scones out of that batch of dough. So now I'm going to pop this baking sheet into the freezer for 30 minutes. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want the butter to be really hard. This way when it goes into the hot oven, the butter will melt and release steam and it will create these flaky layers. So uh, in, in the meantime, heat the oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, the scones have been in the freezer for 30 minutes. They are hard as rocks. And I'm just brushing the tops with some of the eggnog. The eggnog will help the scones to brown. And while these are in the oven, I'm going to light the fire in the parlor fireplace and set the tea table. All right, so these are ready to go into the oven. And again, that's at 425 degrees. And I'm going to bake these until they turn golden brown. That's going to take about 20 minutes. So when we come back, I'll meet you in the parlor. All right, here we are in the parlor. Here's the Christmas tree. It's a 10 foot Fraser fir, all decorated. And I will tell you that Mr. Fox did the decorations as he does every year. And he does a really nice job. And here is the fireplace. Have a nice warm fire going for you. And here is the tea table with the wonderful eggnog scones. 
Well, many of you have asked to meet Mr. Fox, and I finally convinced him to appear on camera. Hello there. Thanks for including me. So, we're going to enjoy our scones. Thank you. One. Okay, and I have some whipped cream over here. Do you want some whipped cream? Sure. Okay. Now I'm going to cut this scone in half. Do you say scone or do you say scone? I say, I say scone. Okay. This is, I wanted to show you the texture of the scone. This is very moist. Okay. I'm going to have some of that too. For a taste test. I'm going to zoom in. I really want you to see this. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Delicious. It's wonderful. Thank you. You're welcome. So, definitely flaky. Super fragrant, super moist. I hope you will give these a try, okay? And I will post the list of ingredients in the description box below. And, oh, let me pull the camera out so you can see Mr. Fox. Well, thanks so much for watching. And again, I hope you will give these scones a try, all right? And I will see you next time. Meanwhile, I hope you're enjoying the holidays. Happy holidays, and I feel like I have a great tea. Because you did. Okay, bye for now.